Do you ever read Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler? In Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler, the, the follow can be, following can be found. The invention of democracy is a crying shame. A majority can never replace the man. I'll go on with Hitler's Mein Kampf. The one true leader provided by fate is to be placed in that position. The Quran 465 says, They can have no faith until they make you, Muhammad, judge in all disputes. Mein Kampf says, The distress of the nation gives us the moral right to acquire foreign soil and territory. The sword is then the plow. From the tears of war, there grows the daily bread for generations to come. Let's compare that with a tractate from the Quran. Do they not see us advancing from all sides into the land of the disbelievers, reducing its borders by giving it to believers in war victories? Wow. Mein Kampf, I knew that I must rid the world of her, speaking of all other political systems which he saw as being one. Quran 839, fight them until all opposition ends and all submit to Allah. Shall I go on? Would you like a few other comparisons between Mein Kampf and or certain passages within the Quran? Now, admittedly, again, uh, let me give you the mumbo-jumbo. Certainly there is compassion to be found in the Quran. Mum, oh, not all Muslims are terrorists. Most Muslims are good people like you. The Quran has been hijacked by an evil few. Mein Kampf. In politics, the application of economic means of pressure permits extortion so long as the doctrine is reckless and the people are stupid and sheepish. Oh, there's a comparison, too, found in the Holy Book. Oh, yes. Uh, shall I go on? Mein Kampf 127. With religious conviction, the bearers of the new doctrine must declare themselves ready and willing to fight. Quran 484. Then fight Muhammad in Allah's, in Allah's, then fight in Allah's cause. Incite the believers to fight with you. Ishak 204, in swearing allegiance to him, Muhammad, we are pledging to wage war against all mankind. Oh my God, that's shocking. Really? They say that in a mosque? That's impossible. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that in the White House when they when he had the imams over there. Uh, mein Kampf 75, the physical uncleanliness of the chosen people of Jews was as repelling as their moral blemishes. That was Hitler. Here, here are your good friends from the Quran. Ishak 240, the Jews are a nation of liars. The Jews are a treacherous, lying, and evil people. Shocking. In the mosque? They teach that? Why, that's impossible. It's a religion. They're entitled to religious freedom. They're entitled to religious freedom. They can say anything they want, can't they? Yes, because we're a nation of schmucks. One day the nation of schmucks will awaken to the fact that not all religions are religions. Some are, in fact, cries of war against the nation that took them in. And one day when we have a president with guts, he's going to say that not all religions are going to be permitted in this country, and we're going to ban any religion which disseminates hatred for other religions or calls for the conversion of all other people, and we're going to throw you out of our country. That if you want such a conversion religion or religion that preaches hate against other people, you're not going to practice it in my country. Get out. This is a nation built upon the Christian Bible, which is a Bible of compassion. Not all religions are religions by definition. But you see, I have a dream. It's only a dream. I doubt that it'll happen under George Bush, Nancy Pelosi, or Hillary Clinton. It will happen after a dirty bomb goes off in America, if it's still here, if it doesn't disintegrate immediately because the government uh, will turn on the people who can defend themselves rather than turning on the, uh, the rest of the radical uh, Muslims who are waiting to strike at our neck like rats. Of course, I use the word radical Muslims, you notice. Get me correct. Don't misquote me. When we get rid of the leaders who are not leaders, when we put leaders in who are leaders, when we get rid of the fake generals like Petraeus, and we put in men like uh, General Patton, then we can stop this virus from killing us. Right now the virus is disseminating and spreading. It's metastasizing like a cancer.